joined by seventh year head coach Eric Berg. Your first title, the program's first title since 1990, and it couldn't have been any closer. What were your thoughts as the match went on and on, and it got really close going down to that final uh, singles match out on the court? Well, you know, I, I don't know if I had time to think because it felt like uh, most of the singles ended at a similar time. So, you know, all of a sudden, though, we see it looks like we're in a position to win, and then David cramps up. So, um, so both matches are must wins. I was just happy they were able to both finish in a matter of you know, a minute or two apart. You've gotten great contributions from the top to the bottom of your order all season long. David Hernandez, one of your most consistent players, goes down, and you get pickups, wins at 3, 4, and 6 in singles. How much does that speak to this team's depth and just coming together and working as a team all season long? Yeah, I mean, that's really the key. to. I, we've always known we need to have a solid lineup from top to bottom to win it all. And um, we, we never expect to rely on one particular person on a particular day. You know, we know that everybody's got to play hard and, and whoever it happens to be, um, so be it. You know, and, and we, we pulled through, which is great. And last but not least, Coach, does it make it any bit sweeter to beat the two-time defending champion, UMass Dartmouth? Well, of course, I mean, but, you know, I think of, you know, just the tough years we had in 2010, 2011, and um, to get to this point and just be, be playing for a title was, was awesome, you know, and they're, they're an awesome team, so I, I guess that we wouldn't have it any, any other way, you know, be the best other team um, in the final. UMass Boston, your 2013 men's tennis champions. Thank you.